What's up? What's up? What's up? This is your girl Candy and your girl Aries here to discuss Capote and the Swans season finale, which is the episode eight. Um, Aries, tell me, what are your feelings? Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm glad that the season I'm not going to say that I'm glad it's over. I did enjoy this season thoroughly. I just did not understand episode eight. Took me a minute to get through it from front to back. But once I did see the whole thing, it was like, okay, it was a cute way to end the episode. So, you know, for the most part, yeah, it was cute. It was cute. I I feel the same way. Um, It took me like today to watch it completely. Because mm-hmm. I wasn't understanding, but I'm like you said, once you kept watching it, it's like, oh, okay, we get it now. But we I wish we got that in the beginning. We need that pull in factor in the beginning. Mm-hmm. I mean, him laying on the tombstone was cool, but then it fell flat after that for me. So, you know, hey, it was going into these pictures. Yeah, we're just going to get into these pics and we're going to make it do what it do. So the episode starts out with him talking to Babe at her um, tombstone, and he was like, "Scooch over!" And no, at first he said, "The first thing he said was, um, is everybody decent? Is everybody decent?'" And I was like, "That do sound like something, <laughs> something old people would say or older people would say." Everybody right. decent, just to make sure everybody got their clothes on um, when somebody walked into the room, and then he, you know. You know, wanted to lay down with Scooch over so he could lay down with her and ask her how comfortable it was. Um, I guess in wherever she is, in somewhere, perturbatory. What is it? Perturbatory. Perturbatory. What is it, Candy? In the middle. Perturbatory. Yeah, perturbatory. Wait a minute, child. Um. And then, you know, he put the flowers down. Somebody gave her lilies or something or something. He was like, ew. They put some chrysanthemums up there. You know, she was complaining about the chrysanthemums. I mean, they put carnations. That's the one she didn't like. Yeah, I'm like, okay. uh, Truman is very uh, dramatic, as we know. So, um, you know, of course, we see him laying on the, you know, the grave. How did you feel about that, about him talking to her? You know. I thought, like. Just because of the way that the last episode went off, it was kind of just like, okay, because last episode, I have you thinking that they just passed away back to back, you mm-hmm. know, and that was all in one, um, like in, in two days or over the short course of time. But yeah, I like the way that the episode did come back. Um, to 1984 and just give Truman a chance. Now, this is the only way to just make peace with Babe at the mm-hmm. end of it all. Like, this was like, okay, this is a full circle moment for him. And he didn't just die shortly after Babe. You right. know, it was the time. So it seemed like he had kind of like got the courage up to go even to her grave to face her to the mm-hmm. point that he just feels so comfortable. Like, mm-hmm. Scooch over. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to speak to the chat. What's up, honey? Too. Thank you for coming through. EJ, EJ. Thank you, hon. I know you're busy, busy over there on the tick of the talk and <laughs> doing your own YouTube content and creating your things and putting out your orders. Uh, everybody, please go to Strictly Opinionated, which is EJ's website, to get all of the things mm. of the things of the things. If you nice. are a creator, um, like cups and things like that and just different <clears throat> things she has that you can create uh, your own thing. Um, hi, Dairy B. What's up, OT? OT, thank you for coming through. Hi, mm-hmm. my sweet perspective. How are you? Thank, thank you for coming you. through. I can't wait to see your review, okay? I'm ready yeah. for that. <laughs> right. Thanks, y'all, for stopping by. Yes, we appreciate it. And I have to go ahead and get that out because I get to talking and carrying on and I get, I forget. <laughs> Charge it to my head and not my heart because my intentions are are pure. So we see, uh-oh, wrong one. So oh, man. we see Truman 
knocked on John Jack's door. And of course, uh, he was like, we know we had dinner or whatnot, and that he's with, you know, he has a friend now. He has a, a intro love interest, which, you know, he invites him in. And I was very, I, well, I'm going to take that back. I was surprised, but then again, I was not surprised because I remember when last episode, when the, uh, when John, Jack was telling, Truman, that only why he's there is because of his friend. You know, he didn't really want mm -hmm. to do anything with him anymore. Um, but the friend was like, no, we're going to go, you know, you're going to go ahead and do what you're supposed to do because that's the right thing to do. So I appreciate him for doing that. Um, and then they have dinner. And to me, it was, it was Truman style. You know, he got to mm -hmm. talk about himself and talk about, you know, things of the things. How did you feel about, about this scene? I thought like this uh Jack's dude is a groupie, like first of all, for just wanting to <laughs> when are you gonna release and unanswered prayers? When are you gonna release yeah. it? Like you you here for other reasons, sir. You here to be entertained, like come on, have a little bit of class, act like you've been somewhere, basically. Act like you know how to <laughs> act around some people. He's starstruck. Okay. Yeah, he, he was like, Oh, I've always wanted to meet you. Yes, oh, I've always wanted to meet okay. you. Like, dang. Okay. But I did yeah. think that it was interesting the way that Truman was, like, basically saying what answer prayers was going to end up being. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, it's going to be my apology to all of the ladies. And I felt like, honestly, Candy, what's up, Moochie? Mm -hmm. What's up, Ashley? Let's, yeah, we, you know we got to shout out our uh, viewers as they slide through, huh? Right. But honestly, Thank you. Candy, this... This episode was making me feel like it was the start of a Christmas carol or something because we didn't go on to see ghosts of Christmas past and present and future like low key, you know. So yeah, yeah. here you go looking like who, who was Scrooge? Yeah, it was Scrooge. Scrooge yeah, was so ghost. this was confusing in a way, confusing to me. I'm like, are we going? So we're going backwards again. Okay, all right. So this right. one, I think that it was Candy. I felt like mm -hmm. this was him in his book. This is in his mind how he was yes, going to do yes, answer yes. prayers because he was giving them all the, the code names in the yeah, aliases. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it took me 10 times, y'all, to watch this show, this episode, <laughs> to really figure that out. Like... Yeah, you know, we yeah, were satisfied yeah, yeah. with last episode, so this was just extra. Yes, it was a long dream sequence, yes, it was so yes, much, it was a lot. Too. Yes, mm -hmm. it, was, it was a lot. I was like, so okay, but I did, I did catch that, that that's what he was doing, um, for the um, doing the book because you could tell he was he was typing, you saw him mm -hmm. on his typewriter, and then he started, you know, talking about the different names, the aliases. That were not them, but of course, you know, we see the real people in the scenes. So, yeah, yeah. And the um, only way you could know this was fact from fiction was that slight bit of fog. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. And then the name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I think this is going to come up with Capote and CZ. So, this was kind of funny to me. Because she's hanging at the sunroof of a convertible. But I'm like, what is a surfboard? Why is a surfboard in the back right. of the car? Like, what is I'm thinking what it's a surfboard that? at first. So, you know, they're riding through the wherever they are. I guess they're in California somewhere. And they're just riding. And CZ is just having the time of her life. Um, letting go of whatever, you know, she had that was holding her down. And now she just wants to be wants to be the person that she's always been, which is free. She's never been yeah. able to be free. Now she's being free. And Truman is helping her do that. So they get to this bar and they reveal her picture that she um, had taken by this famous, that the famous painter did. Mm -hmm. And they sold it for what, two drinks? So they right. basically gave away the picture. How are you going to sell away right. your time and put it like that? Yeah. But I don't know why, like, you could tell that this is, yeah. like, a, a Truman delusion because CZ seemed to be that girl. Like, yeah. I didn't ever feel like she was oppressed or suppressing who she was. It seemed like she, you know, she had it. Mm -hmm. She 
I mean, she went through some divorces or whatever, but they all were like, it was just like, okay, on to the next. Wasn't nobody yeah. leaving broke, but yeah, he, they went, they threw me with the whole little Thelma and Louise little com <laughs> combo with them in this yeah. scene. I, I, I totally agree. Um, and they're dancing and you know how uh, Truman get the dancing, baby. <laughs> he get the dancing carrying on and well, he be such a vibe when he dance. You hear me? Right. And being happy. I love right. to see him dance. Like, and he's always with CZ when they're dancing. Right. Okay. Remember they was he's the only one that's going to let loose. Like, nobody else is going to let loose oh. like that. <laughs> yes, Derry. It is definitely giving uh. Thelma and Louise, huh? Yes. Uh. Yes, yes ma'am. <laughs> definitely Thelma and Louise. <laughs> Which is which, it don't matter. Right, <laughs> but oh my lord, this this oh. vulture, this gutter snipe, his mama is the worst. Ooh, yeah, yeah, you wasn't you wasn't lying on the cat, and thank you for putting the all caps because it's definitely warranted. Yeah, she was terrible, and for Rip, like, lady, what is? <sighs> okay, we're gonna get through it. <laughs> we, we right, we get there. Look at her. She talks to him any kind of way. She says anything, and then she she just does what. What? Well, okay, I'm past. I'm going too fast. So she just talks him any kind of way. You know, I I don't like. I guess that, that was their dynamic, and I just have to accept that. But that's yeah. just not. Ooh, Come toxic, huh? Yeah, very, very, very toxic. So we see Slim. And Truman, he's like way right behind her in the street. <laughs> They're just having this banter back and forth in the street. And it's like, slow no, down. Your legs are longer down, than stop. mine. Like, I'm like, no. She's like, slow down, slow down. I don't, I don't know, talk to you no more. We're not talking, <laughs> we're not discussing. And no, we're not, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lily May was definitely a hot mess. That would be her name, Lily May. So, um, she. So in feud, she was somebody else. She wasn't um hi Miss Kira. What's in up, Miss Kira? She was somebody else. She wasn't his mom because her name is Lily May. In is Lily May, right? Uh Ashley. Right at uh Aries? Mm hmm Lily May. Okay. Um but I guess she played the same actress with um Jessica Lange. Betty? I guess she played the same actress in the first one, the first feud, the one with Who the two was she, ladies. Joan or uh She's actual. I, I oh, that's that why one. her face looked like that. Yeah, she's the actual mommy dearest in real life. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she was actually Lily Mae in this one as his mother, but she was a different actress in um the first few. Yeah, Joan. Okay, so she played Joan Crawford. Okay. 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 So I didn't watch that one, and I think I need to watch it just yes. because of being a. Uh, I I do I did enjoy this, so mm -hmm. I, I guess I do need to watch it. Um, so they're at Slim's house and they're playing and they're, it, I, I might be going too fast, but they're tossing the, uh, the dishes, the, the dishes. Well, no, they have, they did, right? Yeah. Yeah. This, that scene, this, that scene. Yeah. When they were throwing dishes, I'm like, okay. And then I fell asleep the first time I watched it. I'm like, you know what I'm saying, Kenny, that's exactly why I fell asleep <laughs> like, at this point. I was like, yeah. okay, Truman. He was like, throw them at me then. I was like, okay, you yeah. you you trying to get her to open up to you, so you're gonna take it anywhere you could get it. Yeah. This is on FX and um, but then it shows and on Hulu. Hulu as well, EJ. Hey Tamika girl. Hi, Tamika. Hello, ladies. Thank you all for coming through. I truly appreciate yes. it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, but this now is I'm a very good watch, EJ. Um, yeah, EJ, you would yeah. like it. Yeah, you'll be fussing and cussing uh, like we have been. We try not to curse too yes. much on, on, on YouTube. But right. this mama is relentless. You hear me? This lady told her son that you are, I have you you are my wayward sister's child, like that I'm doing a favor for, and that you're just a sideshow attraction. 
Like, she was like <laughs> was very disrespectful to her son. Like you call this child a side show attraction. Like you see how the way he act, just shut up and stay in. Like she right. in the closet because she want to go hunch somebody. So but when I come out, I'm some money. Own. Yeah, tell me all these fancy clothes you have. This is how I get it. I yeah. Said, done and then her. she was talking about the man too. She was like, because do you think that like basically like to I gotta go through all this for you to be wearing them little fancy suspenders and trousers to deal with a man like that? Like, damn. <laughs> like I gotta deal with somebody like that for you. And you can't even have the decency to sit there and be quiet. Like let me do my business. Let me use what I got to get what you want, Truman. Mm -hmm. But that was so mean. She was just breaking his little spirit. Like, okay. Yeah, he was like, such a sweet little fella. You know, like, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. You know something different about him. She was like, and that's the first thing they say is, oh, I didn't know you have a boy. I told them you was my way with sister's boy that's traveling from here to San Francisco on a boxcar right now. Yeah. And no, it's not a boy. You see the way he flounces around like that? That's not no boy. That's a sideshow. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and y'all, this is right when I was falling asleep. That's why that that uh dialogue is embedded in my brain. So <laughs> yes, man. This mama was fierce. She was not yes. to be yes, played. she was on a money making mission. Okay. She definitely mm -hmm. was. Yes, she, she definitely was, was on, a, on a money making mission. Um, she really, really, she, I kind of felt, you know, a little bit more sorry for him than before. Um, yeah. I was very like, say what you call, is it a child a side show attraction because he's feminine? Like, right. I, but, I, but I got to take it back to, I know it was, this is years ago. So I have to remember that. Like it's, you know, it's not current. Mm. So. Right. They would, that, if his dad was around, he would have just been trying to beat him. Like yeah. into acting masculine or whatever, yeah. like and he was so cute. <laughs> he was so cute, and then you could tell he was one of them just attention starved kids because he mm -hmm. just always wanted to be around his mom, like despite her being so cruel, he still yeah. wanted to be up under her. And then she um he had the little he had her lipstick playing with her lipstick, and then he had the little uh thing that's ties that you tie around the curtains. He was combing it to my, oh, you're so beautiful. Yeah, you're so beautiful. <laughs> right. Get this boy some toys. Why yeah, you locked him in the room talking about shut up and be quiet. Don't you say a word till I get back. Like, I'll give I, you oh, the last uh, dance, okay? Uh, I promise. Uh, now shut up. That yeah. was her, and I mean it. I said, oh, uh-uh. No, ma'am. No, she was evil. She was evil. She was very evil. So... We see where there he's talking to her and she give him some pills to help him cope, to help him get his work done. That kind of eh, kind of threw me off. I'm like, okay, I know this is fiction because yeah. I mean I know this is not real because she's she's passed when he was in his twenties and we know right now he's in current time. But we, we what you think about the pills? I don't know. I'm I was lost on that. I, I was yeah, lost. I was too. I felt like okay. I know he's having a, a a delusion or a hallucination or a daydream or all, but the way that she took herself out was with the pills. So I feel like that's mm -hmm. just her, her, you know, like she leaks them now. Her her ghost just got pills, shaking them up and popping them like some sunflower <laughs> seeds. Now. Her ghost walking around with pills all day long. Yeah. Yeah, that's I why know. I think she came up with him. And I think that he had him and in his mm -hmm. little Delulu state, like they're there. Yeah, and well, you know what? That's where he get it from. Yep. Uh, I think it was them inviting him to oh to end himself, her and Anne. Oh, oh dang, right. Ashley. Because Ooh. the mama been telling him, like, you need to go ahead and yeah, do just this. come over and come with me. Yeah, just yeah. come and come and go with me. Just come and be with me. Yeah. Oh man, Ashley. Oh, I didn't Ooh, think about oh that. God. Oh, uh-uh. Mm -mm -mm. And you agree, Mary. Yeah, that's that was tragic. She was a tragic piece of work, okay? Tragic. Like, lady. She was she was tragic. Yeah. It's selfish. She want all um she wanted the book to be about her. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Yeah, she wanted everything, she wanted everything to be about her. And that's yeah. not how it works. Like, no. So we see uh Truman. Um, with Lee, 
and her new husband, and I forgot mm-hmm. what he was, who he was, but he was some of importance at the time, and he's on an actual telephone. <laughs> Look at these on patches. Table, like he was on an actual telephone. You know, I guess, I, of course, Candy, they didn't have cordless phones back then, so bring it back. Right. He okay. got the house phone. He got the they land got the, the, the 20-foot cord, and they're taking it to whomever. They brought it over there to him like, here you go, sir, Mr. Feinstein. <laughs> And they're over there plotting how to unalive her <laughs> husband. They're going to take the tobacco out the cigarettes. And I don't know what this concoction is right here in these little uh, needles. But it might just be it like something to liquefy. Like, uh. And then they got the pills and they're crushing them up. So, hey. Yeah. I mean, y'all, come on. This was the first ID type of situation <laughs> like look at them them needles yeah. are so big like they're huge because mm-hmm. what is that okay those are the cigarettes okay I was gonna say what is that but those are cigarettes I would like to know what kind of pills those were because you right. know he always he well, got he, he had a, a handful of pills, pills so I would he have liked the to pills see. out he did yeah. say he was like mm-hmm. and then that's another great title fistful of whatever it was something yeah. like Mm-mm, this man is a mess. But this whole scene was a mess. Yeah, yeah. So I'm assuming he took something because he was so out of it. He probably had alcohol and medication because he was out of it as if he was two toes from being in the grave. Like, <laughs> the pinky toe and that, and that, right. and that the second toe was 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 hanging on dear life, not to go in. Yeah, not by much. No, he was he was on his way. So, and his mother, which is the worst, and as a caption, you can see that she read his latest story while he was napping. This lady is relentless on not being loving and not being kind to her child. You know, and she make you said she makes him cry. She just talks to him any kind of way. Oh yes, and her. Yep, that's he what gets I said. From her. He mm-hmm. gets it from, he gets he, well, she raised him. He didn't have a father, you know, in his life. So everything that he does, she did to him. Yes, pure evil, Derry. Yes, yes. He yeah, she's pure evil. And she's relentless in the things that she does, but he gets it from him, gets it from her. He talks to everybody any kind of way. He talked to Kate. The little girl, any kind of way. Jack, right. John. He didn't talk to Rick any kind of way. He didn't get a chance to get him because he got out within 30 days. Rick was gone. Right. He, he was, was gone. Was there in his life, he talked to them any kind of way and didn't care how they felt. You know, luckily he cowered down to his mom and then, you know, wasn't, you know, aggressive towards her. So um, I think this is. Oh, Who yeah. Is that's uh that's Eveline. That's uh his mama. His mom when she was younger. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. This is the night of. This is the night. Because remember, that was when Anne was sitting there. And I had been saying, y'all remember when I was like, mm-hmm. why is he trying to make the it seemed like he's like holding his mom against Anne or treating Anne as if she was mm-hmm. his mom? So then we figure it out, like, okay. And ended up being, I guess, for some reason, he's seen her as an unfit mother for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. Like, why did Anne get that stone casted upon her? Because once it was on, like, yeah, he was on yeah, her. He was like, on. Mm-hmm. he made her um take herself out. So for yeah, Anne to be there, you know, yeah. this I bet he did like, deliver that dog on Esquire magazine. I bet he yeah. did deliver that to her. Whether he gave it to a uh, a butler or he left it on the doorstep, I believe that he is the one that walked into that lady's door, and she's the reason. He's the reason why she unalived herself. I really do believe so. Yeah, yeah. So we see that he's um he's headed out to the lake where the swans are, um like you see in the beginning of the season, um of the ep- the first episode of the season, and he's going to the trunk to get his book answered prayers. And he takes that book and he's, I was like, he finna put liquor on the book, but that was, um, looks like cigarette lighter fluid or something. Yeah. Or some kind of fluid. And he just 
lights the book up in flames and he's done with the book he doesn't want anything else to do with it i guess because he know there was no real re rhyme or reason that he could come to with that he you can't really answer anything because they're you know they're deceased or they're not even mm. talking to each other so it's like there's nothing to you know really write about nothing you know there's yeah. no reason to publish it you know yeah and i do remember them saying that there's no uh they didn't they never came across that book in real life yeah, because Anne was yeah. threatening him. Her ghost was there at that point when he was deciding on if he was going to light it or not. Like, she was like, burn it. Like, basically, yeah, nothing, you're not going to um, make amends by doing this. Mm -hmm. This ain't, like, I guess it was even, like, selfish in a way. It seemed like that's mm -hmm. what it, the narrative felt like. Everybody was just making it come off like, you, you want to put this out so that you could get an apology off to try and clear your chest when it's just too late. Like, so mm -hmm. keep it. Keep yeah, it. it was it was too late because I mean you had the dirt was done. It's like really nothing you could do. You know, like they say, you can say it and you can apologize, but the words have still been spoken. You yeah, can't it's really too take late. Back. You know, you yeah. can't take it back. Once you do it, once you do it, it's, it's done. You know, you can't take it back. So let's see. So he is here. Okay, so this is where he's out with. Uh, in California with Joanne, and she brings him his liquor, his tobacco, and she said firearms, but I'm assuming that's just his cigarettes. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I know she didn't give him no blicky. I know she didn't. He has his notebooks. He has his erasers. He has his pencils and pens or whatever. Um, so he's out there to do the work, you know, even though she gave him the alcohol, which is not going to help him get any kind of work done. Um, so he sees his mother, and he sees Anne. And they are by the pool watching him do what he do. And I guess they know, it's like, I guess they're still asking him, come join me. Come join right. me. Something. Because that's when he jumps in the pool. And he, well, he fell over in the pool. I'm assuming that's what he was trying to do. But then Susan, I mean, what's her name? Joanne. Joanne came and saved him. So, you know, it was therapeutic for him and it didn't work. Deletion was all he could do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but Joanne helped him delete himself when she because she kept feeding him that alcohol and she knew he didn't, he didn't, she knew he didn't need it, right? Like, like you were the worst babysitter being in his dreams continuously. Um, and, and his mother, I said, Man, that he he didn't been sent for, they were his, <laughs> he didn't <laughs> been sent for, period. They oh, was God. his grim reapers, so to speak, <laughs> like they just like waiting and basically pressuring him and just letting mm -hmm. him know like Truman take all the time you need just like he told babe you ain't ready to see the fireworks yet take all the time you need we'll be here mm -hmm. but you coming basically yep he been sent for about got to my I didn't heard it all <laughs> he been sent for by Ann and he's crazy <laughs> behind Kuchu Lily May his man right but she was not his mama she was a mammy for sure that lady was a piece yeah. of work. I did not like the way she did him as a little boy. Like he was, like he was about four or five, and she talked right. to him like, like he was fifteen or sixteen. Like a older person should be, <laughs> not that anybody should be spoken to like that, but somebody that could, could probably take it a little bit better, right? If if that's a possibility. But he was like a little baby, and he was. It's and she like him like that. And that you ended know, up being his norm. Like, he just thought it was, because yeah. even when she was talking to him, he wasn't crying or nothing. He was just sitting there like, dang, it's my mom. I'm just happy she's saying anything to me. <laughs> and she going off. That's why he probably be feeling himself like, let me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just. Mm -hmm. My mom then went upside my head a million times. So uh -huh. I just be. He just feels himself like he's just numb to the foolishness. Like, I I, I don't know. I, and I just hate it for him. So now we see the conversation. Oh, I didn't get the other pictures? I know I did. I know I did. I think I did. I had to go back and get them. I know I did. So this is Joanne talking to Jack about um, him at the end. And he, um, mm. as we see in the caption, says, you know, he was in no shape to write. So he really wasn't writing. He was just scribbling and doodling the whole entire time, <laughs> which was crazy. That was crazy to me because last episode they showed, like he had a lot of notebooks 
Right. With a lot of words on it. But I guess if he was, he wasn't not in any shape, he was just scribbling and writing words back and forth. I got the words that she said he wrote that was writing. Um, but he was just writing, scribbling, doodling back and forth, which was crazy. Mm -hmm. So we'll we'll writing get, his name over and over. Right. So we get to the auction, which I had never seen an auction like this before. Right. So we put ashes at an auction. And I guess because Joan, Joanne Carson, which was Johnny Carson's second wife, they had to say all that. Um, because she was she was deceased, and everything that she had left, everything went to an auction. I'm assuming I forgot what the what the words they used. But yeah. it, but his stuff started out at his ashes started out at two grand. And we see where Kate is there. And I appreciate it, you know, Kate, you yeah. know, coming on. And I was like, oh, she is there, you know, to to get her right. You know, I don't want to call him her stepfather, but to get his ashes. I guess she wanted to get him and take him and she kind of knew what he liked. And right. you know, they had a bond, so she kind of knew what he liked. And um, they bidded those ashes and it started out at two grand. She was at 13 grand and he was like, you know, she was like, tell me when to stop. I guess she was kind of not, e she was uneasy about the whole entire thing because that was a lot of money. But he was like, you got money, you know, just go ahead. But I'll, mm. I'll tell you when to stop. I guess because she didn't want to go overboard for somebody that really wasn't her a, her father. Right, right. You know, even though he did help her out, he still wasn't like a family member to her. Yeah. Um, and I thought that was Rick at first, but I'm like, no, that ain't Rick at all. He, Rick is a little bit I know, huh? than that guy, but he kind of looked like he could have been Rick. Right. They were holding hands on that episode, and I was like, maybe they're just being friendly. I don't know. Right. No, um, they didn't even bring that up. Right. I, I, I didn't, didn't, I didn't, that, didn't that. put that in there. So, baby, tell me how we get from 2,000 to 7,000, seven and a half to nine. 12 and a half, 13, 15, baby. We have 14 grand for some doggone ashes. Hello, somebody. Right. Grand, I'm sorry. $45,000 for ashes. Babe then wanted to know who ran it up. She was like, I wonder who it was. Like, who was that uh, calling in talking about? 45, 45, 55 sold to the man on the phone. <laughs> because the I thought, I was, in his yeah, with the braids in his hair. <laughs> what was that? All about the Benjamins? All about the Benjamins. <laughs> that was, that was, <laughs> that was all about the Benjamins. Mm -hmm. so the man with the braids in his hair. <laughs> with the braids in his hair. Mm -mm. What I tell you? That, that was, uh, that was too funny. But um, Anne told him you're going to feel this poison, not knowing he lived it in his entire his entire life. He was the poison. Yes, 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 yes I am. I totally agree. Mm -hmm. A forty five k for some doggo ashes. Right. What? I was trying to think like, was it Jack? Jack probably would have been passed on too if all the ladies. <laughs> Joan, she lived until twenty fifteen. So, mm -hmm. and um, I did <laughs> see. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, I thought this was nice. I thought this, this was, was nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. This was so beautiful. The swans are there. Uh -huh. Um, I ain't gonna say it about tears in my eyes, but it was a little sweet moment for me oh, to see them yeah. together talking, and you know, just talking. She does look a little different right here, don't she, babe? Oh no, that ain't babe. babe. That's uh, that's Lee. Girl, I, I get them two mixed up. Bang. Right, okay, they're gonna okay, bang. Okay. They're gonna bang. Right, yeah, no, I mean, definitely. Yeah, I was getting them two mixed up. She too. Look, but she okay. So look, okay, she looks different right here. I guess because she got older, she had to get older. Right, they like, tried to age her. Probably put think? some makeup or something. Oh, yeah. Huh? yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, girl, I be getting them ladies mixed up. Them two, anyway. Uh -huh. So she, uh, babe, does not want to leave because she sees her true. Truman's ashes in his picture up there and Slim is like come on and they leave so Aww. Slim died in 1990 CZ died in 2003 Joanne died in 2015 and Lee died in 2019 
and the manuscript of Aunt Surpress has never been found. So mm -hmm. it was not the best. It was not the best episode. So it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. But then again, it was like, you know, me, you and I were like, how are they going to tie this up? How, what are they going to do with it? Are we going to get flashbacks? But we got flash mm -hmm. forwards and we got a lot of what ifs maybe. Um, and we got a lot of things that, you know, happen, I guess, you know, the, the auction and, you know, but we got a lot of things as far as his mother, we get, we got to see her a whole lot more and how she really, really spoke to him and talked to him. You know, even if it was just a little bit, we got that. I think that was very interesting and very important yeah. because we see that's how he was with other people. So we know, hey, that's why he was the way he was because of his mother. Um, so how do you rate this episode and then the season? Uh, I want to say I'm going to give this episode a nice 7.5 just because I like what it is overall, the overall uh piece. And the mm -hmm. season itself, I give this thing a 10. Like, it was just magnificent. Like, the acting was top-notch. All of the, since it was like a time period piece, mm -hmm. like the fashions from that time, just the, um, the... Like, you know, the way that the people spoke back then, like we know that mm -hmm. Truman had his own little funny way of talking, mm -hmm. but like we don't hear people speak the way that they used to be speaking in that I love Lucy, um, mm -hmm. you know, in that era, like they just had yeah. a certain like just, I don't know, classiness to their tone, like everything mm -hmm. was dramatic and just um, highfalutin, like it was yeah. just you could tell that somebody might have been from the upper crest if yeah. they spoke like by the way that they spoke. Yeah, because you remember at the um, auction when the ladies were there, they were like, they're here in flops and flip flops Lip and jeans. Flops. Right. And sandals and jeans. So, you know, they were like, you know, what time is, you know, like, where are we? You know, what happened to <laughs> right. everybody being, you know, tied up and pulled together in class and showing class and things mm -hmm. like that. So that was a very big time jump for them because it was 20... 2019 or 2020 when the auction yeah. took place, I guess, for um what what, what, what she died? Right. When did she died? Be, just because they were trying to show that all of the ladies so. were passed away. Mm -hmm. So even they said C Z, who I think lived the no, Lee lived until 2019. Yeah. And she was passed away too. So it was like, okay, we gotta mm -hmm. be in 2020 or beyond, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I would think, you know. But I don't know how long it takes. Still my looking a, not a day oh. over, right? Yeah. So, and then I do remember back when I was, as I'm looking at my notes, um, when Joanne asked Jack if he wanted to do the um, memorial, and he was like, "No." He looked at his friend, his boyfriend, was like, "No, uh, you handle that." And you know, she did let him know that he wanted to be cremated. And I do appreciate him at least giving him her uh, Joanne that information. Right, um, because you know the boyfriend was right there, and I guess he was like, "Let me tell him something," mm -hmm. and not just ignore the fact that he did want to be cremated. And I did appreciate that information. Um, and I guess the boyfriend was like, "Shit, he dead now. Nah, well, he can't. He can't do nothing to us. All right. thing he can do is 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 bring down the mood around the house because you might be sad about your ex, you know, lover for forever. Your forever lover, put it like that." Right. That man was there for Capote, for Truman, man. for forever. Thick and thin, shit, death do a part. He was there for him more than, I don't, I can't. Time after time. Do. Listen, you have to be a special kind of person to be there for a person like him. Because he was, he was mean, mm -hmm. in my opinion. I, I think Truman was mean. I think he was a mean person to those that really genuinely loved him and that helped him. Right. Yeah. He was a meanest to the people that was that he was the closest to that really was really, you know, like had love for him. Yeah. So I rate this episode, I'll say a seven, seven point five in the season. I give it a 10 because it made me do what I'm doing now. <laughs> I'm doing the dog on live. OK, right. right. What's and, up, um, lady? Yeah. Yeah, and I, I did want to talk about it because when I got, um, I don't know who, where, 
what made me want to watch it. But when I looked at it, I was like, oh, snap. I got to mm-hmm. tap into this. Yes. And I appreciate it. Appreciate you coming through to help me out with this. And hopefully we could collab on some other things. And oh, what yeah. you cooking, honey? Right. What you cook? You baking some apple pies and stuff? Are you going to put one in the mail to South Carolina? Are you going <laughs> to send one out to, uh, to, to, to Vegas? Yeah, I'll take, I definitely would love me a nice <laughs> home cooked apple pie. Yeah, okay. We don't have to worry about getting, um, what's the lady name at the grocery store? Marie, Marie. Callender. <laughs> Marie Callender. I'm going to say, because I'm going to make apple pies, but I do know uh, my sister will go get a Marie Callender's pie if my mom hasn't cooked one in a while. She, you know. Yeah, they do be delicious in the process. You got to let it thaw out. Then you got to <laughs> put it in the oven for a million hours. Then you got to let it cool off after that. Like, just give me the pie already. Okay. Okay. And you got a pot roast going. Mm. It can not cook a doggone thing. Man. <clears throat> well, <throat> let us know next time you get in your baking mood, you know. You have to whip up something on the live dairy. Inga, yeah, dairy. now Inga, that's what you need to be doing. You and right. dairy, yes. You got yes. that. Um, yes, yes. It would it would be very interesting to see. And I know dairy got that uh that know ya right Louisiana flavor going on and Wait, Inga I think got you the, know you that, too. That D uh Inga in DC. Oh, okay. Yeah. She, okay, no, but yeah, yeah. She in DC. yeah, she got that uh that DC cooking going on. Mm-hmm. And then you can get your Vegas cooking going on. Man, what's the there is no in Vegas. <laughs> so the food <laughs> out here is just like I would say from everywhere. So it's some um good Hawaiian places that I like. Like okay. I like Hawaiian barbecue. Then there's some Haitian restaurants, Jamaican restaurants. Other than the big chains, the um independent brands or restaurants, they be fire. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. I think when I when I did come to Vegas, I ate it like regular stuff that I could eat at home. Right. I, I went down to try nothing. I think we went. I know we went to Longhorns and we went to Applebee's and mm-hmm. uh, whatever we ate was on the strip, those restaurants, like the chain restaurants that are on the strip. Right. And my hu- husband and daughter ate McDonald's every day. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> not that. Not, not, no, not, not that. No, you like, come not, on, y'all, eat yeah, something yeah, out. You know. <laughs> Look, Miss Curious yeah. talking about what y'all talking about whipping up. We trying to convince all of our best. <laughs> Chefs yeah. to uh collab on a live one time. Oh, y'all know what that would be kind of cute if we all just did a live baking something together. Yeah, you and know, Miss Kira baked something too for Valentine's Day. So Miss Kira, whip up your mm-hmm. New York flavor or whatever you be doing. I don't bake now. I can cook, but I don't bake. I don't bake. <laughs> I, I like to get my mother's cake. recipes, but she don't be playing it. She got her recipes. I say, I guess I won't get them to you. You know. Right, take your last breath because she not she sharing got them with me. All right, Miss Derry, Derry said, "Let's do it." Mm-hmm. Say no more. I'll be watching because uh, <laughs> I don't do no baking. Yeah, yeah. We have to get get uh, Derry have to send out a list of what she's gonna cook, and then you know she gonna spearhead it. And yeah, then we can host live and whatnot, and everybody you know cook it together. And see mm-hmm. what we can get. <laughs> EJ, I'm a professional order taker <laughs> and I can place an order like no other. All right, EJ, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Right. Like, okay, let me get y'all orders. My sister say she is a professional order taker. Gonna come back with everything how you asked for it. Ooh, a gumbo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go, Derry. I'm now I'm dead serious about that now. Yes. I'm dead serious about some gumbo. So yeah, I'm with you on that one. EJ says she's a professional eater. I am <laughs> with you on that. Robert shows looks like I'm too late. No, you are never too late. You can always hit the replay. Always hit the replay. Always. We missed you we though, Robert. Talking. Thank you for showing we just, up. Yeah, now we just right. <laughs> right. 
Uh, I'm the only one that does the baking now since all the elders are pretty, pretty much passed on or not able to do all that cooking anymore. Well, they got a nice, strong uh, woman to get it done. Right, and to pass the baton to. Yeah. I was going to bake a rum cake today. Inga, come on now. You had time. What you was doing? Caking with your, with your boo? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But you can still get it done, though. You know? And, and send some um, slices in the mail. You know? I'm waiting. Right. Vacuum seal. <laughs> that's okay dairy you don't have to bake baby we need you to get that gumbo recipe type it mm-hmm. up if you i'm sure you already got it ready just go ahead and send it out to the ladies let us know what what groceries we need to get yeah mm-hmm. hey we be on it and we will be on it <laughs> well ej on your way through drop mine <laughs> <laughs> And drop mine like they used to do the uh, dope back in the day. Drop it out the airplane. Right. <laughs> Just drop it out the airplane. Just drop it. <clears throat> all right. She said she bought it, bought it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Don't get me excited now. Right. <laughs> she said she didn't start cooking too late. It be like that sometimes, though. Yeah. It do. Yes. Yeah, it'd be like that. I hadn't started. I started to take out a chick, some chicken I had, but I was like, eh. Oh, let me let me pray that my mother in law <laughs> is gonna hold a fort down for us today. Right, coming good. I feel like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all! Y'all make me want to go to a buffet. Y'all know okay. I said I've been wanting to go and just like eat food. So, man. Oh yeah, you got to do that. Um, your uh vlog, your food vlog. Yes, I'm gonna have to do it. Okay, that's what's up, EJ. Now I can come, you know, the, 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 the Texas, Dallas for some barbecue burgers and mm-hmm. and some links, some sausage links. Oh, okay. oh my God, Miss Kira. Y'all some trifling behind women today. Look at me. What? I what Come on, you're talking about they got the Miss Kira got ribs in the slow cooker. Jeez. I ain't got nothing in the cook. I did cook a good breakfast this morning, so a, a brunch. I did cook right, a good, a good brunch. brunch. I cooked a good heavy brunch. The grits was thick, thick. You hear me? Like Ooh. thick, like I had some meat Italian grits. Okay, the meat grits. Oh. I'm with you, Miss Kira. Kira said it'll get mm-hmm. done. I'm just joking because I didn't do a doggone thing other than cook. Right. Before. I'm jealous. I'm <laughs> jealous. Yeah, I was cleaning too. I was out trying to. I didn't do that butter. either. Mm-mm. I didn't do that either. I'm just talking junk right now. <laughs> Listen, them some, when I say them grits was thick, I'm still full. And I ate by 1130. And it's almost five o'clock. I'm still full. Them was some make the stallion. That's what I'm gonna call them. My make the stallion grits, cause baby, That's listen. Yeah. Them, them some. They were thick. <laughs> they were thick. They were thick up. Man. They were thick up. And that bacon was just right. And my baby, my my nine year old cooked them, them eggs. I prayed while she was stirring. I said, Lord, I just don't want them to be burnt. That's all I can think of. They just don't burn them. I didn't, I didn't want them to be burnt. Yes, Miss Kira, I let the little girl cook today, honey. You know she always be in, in my in my in my joint, so I uh I had to cook some thick grits, and she cooked the eggs and the bacon. Well, I did the bacon in the oven and the sausage links in the oven and some biscuits. I left them there a little too long; they was brown. Don't you I hate that? Like, oh, my biscuits. Cream. That's how I, felt. I, right. I, I like light skin pieces. I don't like brown pieces. Right. I like mine light skin. I take it's them out just before they turn brown, and then right. I leave them in for my husband. <laughs> um, she say how to make the mix the stallion yeah. grease. Oh, that's the video. <laughs> mm-hmm. Listen, them are some thick grease. I don't use cream cheese. I use um heavy whipping cream. Ooh. If I don't have any heavy whipping cream, I use whole milk. Um, but I have heard people use cream cheese in their um, uh, grits as well. Hmm. I use heavy whipping cream. Y'all, and I it, just it, started yeah. eating grits like two years ago. I just didn't ever think that I liked them until really? I began 
yeah, I, I was going to say until I became an adult, but I mean, like I've been an adult, but I just finally accepted that the grits are on my plate. I'm going to try to eat them. And then when I ate them and I liked them. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, what were you eating before? Oatmeal? <clears throat> no, EJ, I'm about to do that. Oh, okay. So, well, right. I prefer to be savory grits because I do like sweet oatmeal, but I prefer okay. my grits to be savory. Okay. Like shrimp and grits. Yeah. With the yeah, sweet yeah. grits, that don't be tasting right with the shrimp and the sweet yeah. grits. Yeah. I can't do um sugar. Sugar. In it. Now, I think I did as a child, maybe in school or something. You know, I eat school grits. I think they had sugar or something. Um. And that's the only way I can think of it. it had to be in school because I have tasted them and they were not nasty, but it's not right. what my mother cooked, you know. Mm -hmm. Right. Look, everybody you know, no, sugar, no, EJ. Okay. What? Uh -uh. But I have heard people put sugar in there, or they put um syrup in them. Anything, I guess anything to make them sweet, you know. So grits are supposed to have salt, pepper, butter, and cheese. And I like sliced cheese in mine. Mm-hmm. What yeah. up, Monique? Hey, Monique. Monique. Hey. I was trying to get you today, but I couldn't oh, find your right. email address. And I had, I had commented on one of your videos or either your community post. And I said, maybe it'll trigger her. But I couldn't get your email address. I was like, dang it, I couldn't find it. But I got a little something, Monique. I didn't oh, even know yeah. that you had I was born and raised in 803, baby. Yes, ma'am. English and my cheese is acceptable. <laughs> cheese yes, I got to have acceptable. cheese. And I'm on two slices. I ain't going to let my husband see the second slice. I throw that wrapper in the trash. <laughs> Just crumble it. <laughs> I stir my grits up with the cheese and I throw another cheese in there. So he only see one slice. I can't let him see both slices. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows <I> Southern, baby? <laughs> Oh, I'm from the south. I'm south of the south, and no sugar. Yes, Monique. Another another time. Okay, so sweet perspective put me on. I saw it in her shorts. The apple doesn't fall, which is on Peacock, and oh my Ooh. god! I saw it you post it on the community good. tab. Yes, the apple doesn't fall, and I tell y'all, I was so upset with that doggone show. It's good. It's a mm -hmm. lot of back and forth. It's a lot of now and then. It's a lot of back and forth, but it is very good. And I, I, uh, I would like to to cover that in a whole because they dropped all, mm -hmm. all seven episodes. So if you all have Peacock, please, please watch. It. So how did you feel about the first episode, Inga? Yes, oh, yeah, Ashley, it is. It's good. It ticks you off. Cause it's a lot of back and forth, but the, it, uh, it's good. It, it's it's good because I watched all seven episodes in about a day, a day, a day or so. Um, it's on Peacock and it's called The Apple Never Falls. I think that's just it. The Apple Never Falls, as in far fall from a tree. Yeah, as in yeah. like. The parents is kind of crazy, I'm assuming, or like the little backstory to whatever is going on currently is just mm -hmm. wild. I'm yes. definitely gonna have to get into that because Peacock is one of my I mean they step in their game up. It's more to watch on there than just law and order and uh um you know right Chicago <laughs> all about, all all them. Them. yeah <laughs> right and it's not anything you think. I watched all Ooh. all seven episodes, and it was like, uh, hold on, say what now? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna check this out. Yeah, yeah I like Peacock. Mm -hmm. It's the same writer who wrote Little Big Lies, and I never okay. watched that one. I never watched Little Big Lies. I, I never have. The mother seems crazy. I'm gonna go back and rewatch again. I just started at the beginning of the first episode. So I don't know anything yet. You might be on to some Inga. You know. You <laughs> might be. <laughs> They're trying to catch it with Prime and Apple. Yeah. Well, they they definitely um got a lot of work to do. Well, no, they did. I, I like they I like Peacock. Prime. I like Peacock. I like yeah. Peacock. Yeah. I mean, so even they, Apple. 
I just every the, time um, I go on Apple TV, I cannot find a thing to watch. They even want you to buy everything. I be like, why did y'all tell me I had six month free subscription? Mm-hmm. Just I had they to buy to another buy subscription, right? <laughs> Yeah, like they want you to buy. It. I'm like, hold a minute. Like the only thing I've watched on on Apple was the the show with um, what's my boo name? Idris Idris Elba, the uh-huh. airplane show. That's the only thing oh, I've yeah. watched. Mm-hmm. Okay, so my husband is watching yeah. these gentlemen on Netflix, and he's uh, he's continuously watching it. So it, it has to be good. I think my child. Yeah, she's ringing the doorbell. Hold on for one second. <laughs> Hold on. Yes, Miss Kira, I have not been able to find nothing on Apple TV. I have heard of some good titles, like Candy mentioned that one with Idris Elba, and I—I I don't know. I think that I set out to watch like more than one thing on uh that network, but I guess I just didn't understand the platform. They be trying to make you pay. They was nickel and diamond, worse than spirit. Nickel and Diamond worse than uh Frontier Airlines. And not Nickel and Diamond horses beer. They were Nickel and Diamond. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um Apple does nickel and dime, and I don't give it a nickel or a dime. I don't. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know if I'm paying for it. I am I still on the six month free thing? I think I am. But um, let's see. Manhunt. No, what is manhunt? What is it on? Oh yeah, where that's at? Girl, stop popping talks. Where you finna go? Where your phone? Leave the door open. You're doing too much right now. I'm about like Miss Kira. You got to get them kids lined up on. <laughs> right. You kids off the chain, boy. The best thing on Apple was Lessons in Chemistry. It's a beautiful story, but they have a lot of good shows. I can't find anything on Apple that is. I maybe my line, my, maybe my, my stuff ain't lined up right, and it's right. not the algorithm in Apple. It's not algorithm in Apple. I don't know, but they don't. It's like they want you to. I don't like they want you to pay for movies if you already got the streaming platform. What the hell are you paying for movies for? Yes, that's where they Please. catch me every time. Please, I'm like, oh, okay. If I got the yeah, yeah, because it's it's not. It's not working for me. I look at it, and when I see a dollar sign or or rent or buy, I'd be like, <laughs> "Right, I don't have time for that." Okay, I gotta pack. I knew you had to pack some orders up. I looked at a few things on Apple, but I don't like to watch it too much. And man, it looks good. Okay, I'm finna go. Thank you, EJ. Love you. Thank I appreciate you. it. Um, hijacks. Yeah, hijack is good. That's the one with Idris Elba. Swagger. Mm. Truth be told. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let me. I'm gonna look at Truth Be Told and Swagger. Let me check that out. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. My um, cause Miss um Kira said that she she might have Apple free through T-Mobile. I know that I might have. I got something on there through somebody. Right. I just bought another pair of AirPods, so I know I got a free trial for that alone. Okay, hold on to it. Now. <laughs> right. They be loving to give out them trials. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what got me. I got on Philo, P-H-I-L-O, for Moochie was doing one of those things, one of those um, movies, those throwback movies. Mm-hmm. The One of those mob movies. And I got it, and I was supposed to do the end it in seven days. So my seven days came and went. $24.99. I was like... Caught you slipping. So they I had to go on Apple Pay and go to my subscriptions and cancel it 29 days ahead of time because I will not. I have app, I have YouTube TV and I pay for like eight or nine apps. I'm yeah. not, and Philo will not be another one. And I said, well, maybe it's only $25 and they have live TV. But my husband is a sports fanatic, so I have to have a sports package somewhere. So mm-hmm. I... Yeah, I, I I was like, okay, all right, y'all caught me that time, but y'all will not get another twenty five dollars out of me. No, right. Mm-mm. I was so upset. I was like, dang. But oh well. Apple TV is free through T Mobile. Okay, okay, okay. Oh beans. So yeah, so we got to y'all got to catch up on uh, apples don't fall. 
Was it apples? Yeah, I don't think Apple Apples never fall. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to read the synopsis. Everyone in West Palm Beach knows the Delaney family because of their long-running tennis academy. But when Joy and Stan retire, and when a wounded woman arrives on their doorstep, the entire family's world is turned upside down. And when I say turned upside down, oh, 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 oh it's turned mm -hmm. upside down. And when Joy, the, the Delaney matriarch, suddenly goes missing, her four children are left to piece together everything they thought they knew about their parents. And when I say that is the perfect mm -hmm. description of the doggone show, it is perfect. Is perfect. It is that's the perfect description of that show. They are retired tennis players. They open the door for a young lady that's wounded. The mama come up missing. And then they're trying to figure out what in the hell didn't happen to the male. I'm scared. Right. What in the hell didn't happen to the male? This yes, is creepy. It's, 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 oh, it sounds very like suspenseful. Is it yes. suspenseful, huh? Yes. Yes, it, it 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 snatches your attention just like that. I'm telling you, it's very good. It's very good. It's it's good. And it, you know, some episodes you you miss, like fall asleep on or whatever, or got to leave and can't watch it. You don't want to watch it again. Oh, you don't mind watching this again. Mm -hmm. You don't mind watching it again if you fall asleep on it or whatever. You don't mind rewinding and starting. You don't mind starting it back over because I'm sure you missed something anyway if you was paying attention. You probably missed something anyway. It's very, very good. I I get anybody to watch it. Um, no, Inga, I told y'all I was not cooking. I was being trifling today. <gasps> now you made me say it again. Right, we about to order something. I know I'm about to, I'm thinking in my head like, man, what I'm about to order for these <laughs> folks. Oh no, and I did cook a good breakfast. That's it. I hopefully my mother in law is, is doing her big thing, her big one, as they say, her big one up there in Do the her pot. Too. Hope she's doing her big one. And uh because her roast is is delicious too. Hopefully that's what she's cooking today. I'm gonna pray that's what she's mm. cooking. Some macaroni and cheese. Mm. Okay, yeah. Some macaroni and cheese. I can whip that up. That do sound good. <laughs> I will probably go and yeah. get some ingredients. Yeah, see, we need to do a doggone cooking show. Yes. Yeah. And did y'all, um, Monique said she ordered a Phyllis cheese steak. Now, listen, I'll eat something like that during the week because my weeks, my my nights are busy when I get home. Now, those mm -hmm. meals be good. Right. Phyllis cheese steak, chop, saute them onions and peppers and throw them mushrooms in there. That's all I want on it. I don't want no mayonnaise in there on it. I see people put mayonnaise on it, so I don't want that on it. Mm -mm. Not on mine. No, mm -mm. you give me the meat, sauteed vegetables, and the mushrooms, and some a lot of cheese. And I want cheese on the bottom, on the middle, and on the top. Not put the emphasis on the cheese. A lot of cheese. Yes, and the A1 steak sauce, just a little dabble of it, just a couple yeah. of drops, and that's it. Yes, my sweet potato is in the oven. I got to do my mac and cheese and greens. Oh, All right, right Miss Kira making uh -huh. um okay. man that real Sunday dinner. I'm Listen, mad. Okay, that's Sunday through Tuesday dinner. Right, <laughs> because then it's about to be up a couple days. <laughs> right. Wait a minute, Candy. Do we have the same straw? Oh my God, we got the same straw. Listen, I tell you, if you buy me, we be. Here. I see you. We see each other. Right, we see each other. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. I think my sister bought me these straws for somewhere. I don't know. So but cute. Yeah. Oh, we'll be vibing, child. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -uh, Monique, baby, listen. <laughs> Monique said that's too know. much. Jeez. When I pull that thing apart, I need it to, I want it to be like this. <laughs> like a commercial. Yes. Yes. Monday is most definitely, certainly leftovers. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Inga, the pot roast. Oof. Oh, listen, I'm not even hungry because them grits was gritting. But listen, not the that, grits that, plate, that plate be waiting on me when I get back to this house today, tonight, later on. I'm going to eat it. Yes, the cheese would have you in the bathroom. I thought cheese would stop you up. But see, I, I don't have those problems. 
Mm-hmm. It is crazy. I, I don't have no problem. I thought it clogs you. Yeah, it do. Cheese will make you not be able to go. You got to counteract that with apple juice because yeah, yeah. I used to love eating apple juice. cheese when I was a little kid and I would be backed up and that's what I figured out the magic potion. While I'm eating my cheese, I got to have some juice. Yeah, yeah. My daughter like, Mommy, I am not drinking apple juice today. Yes, you are. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. We're going to sit here and drink it together. <laughs> Chill out. Okay. Luckily, yeah. it ain't no prone juice. Okay. That, re- that really from, sets the juice loose. I've never had to do that. I, I And I don't... Mm-mm. 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 Never recommend it. Mm-mm. No, uh, you know that that's one of those situations where you be at your uh grandmother house or a cousin the house that ain't got nothing to drink over there, and you just begged your mama to let you stay, and you get desperate because that's what it was. And I was just like, man, she got some prunes in there. It's probably like grapes. Let me taste some. Because <laughs> isn't it bitter? It is. Bitter? It is yeah, bitter. It looks like mud. Yeah. Yeah, Inga, apple juice is way better yeah. than fruit juice. Because with apple juice, you can drink that room temperature and still be okay. I don't know. I think I've tasted prune juice before. I don't know if I, I, I think it's bitter, but it's nothing I want. Uh-uh. No. Oh, wow. Poor thing. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right. Mm-mm. Could you imagine? Mm-mm. Uh-uh. That was like, ooh, uh-uh. You already got that going on? And we got to do this too. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> we'll drink water. Yeah, not now drinking enough water will help you move. It will help mm. you move. It will drinking enough water will help you move. Um, because my daughter will get that way. Because sometimes I would like to put Miralax <laughs> in her stuff, and she's like, "Mama, this tastes funny." I'm like, "Don't mm-hmm. put too much in it." All right. right. So I have, to go I have to go dilute it. Have to go dilute it. Yeah, yeah, but. Let's see. Miss Aries, what do you got coming up next on your channel, darling, before we get up out of here? Okay, so y'all, and Miss Inga especially, because she told me last Sunday she thought the smoke session, she was going to bring some, she was going to pull up with something, with a little <laughs> thing, and you can pull up to the smoke session with a little thing, but we're going to be talking about, you know, just trending topics, whatever, it's just like a a little moment just like this basically just a free space to talk and just get on here and and hang out with whoever decides to pull up so i'll be doing that in a couple of hours it is 2 15 my time so i'll get on probably about like seven so that'd be 10 on um, most of y'all time zone on the eastern standard <laughs> so yeah make sure that y'all check it out and Hit the hashtag replay gang if you coming up to our uh, Capote versus the Swans live. Make sure that you let us know in the comments that you are part of the replay gang. But other than that, that's all I got so far that I know of. I've been pretty consistent with that. So, yeah, Candy, let me know yeah. what you got. Um, <clears throat> I don't have anything in my mental Rolodex right now telling me to do anything other than apples never fall. So I'm going to see what I can do. If I do it solo, I will. I don't have a problem. If not, I may bring a couple people up that may want to discuss it one day next, mm-hmm. well, probably next weekend, you know, uh, depending on your schedule. If yeah, you I'm going to get caught it. up on it just in case, just in case, um, you know, I'll be ready. I'll be ready when you drop the link. But that's about it. Um, apples never fall whenever I, you know, get a chance to get to it. I'm trying to uh, dial back on doing things so much during the week because I have a nine-year-old and listen, it'll be a struggle. I struggle during the week since so the girl don't like to get up in the morning because I go to bed at two or three o'clock and I got to get up at six, six thirty. And you know, I be fighting mm-hmm. myself. I be sitting wow. on the end, on the bed like the little uh, meme. I think it's Arthur or somebody be sitting there like you know you running <laughs> back you just sit at the end of the bed. That be me like. Why did I go to bed at four o'clock? You know, so yeah, the week is a definite struggle. But I, 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 I'm trying to dial back on it. Maybe like once or twice a week, but not three and four times a week because that mm-hmm. be killing me. You know, and I try not to complain because my husband, 
you have a few choice words, like you say you add something there on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> right, stay off that YouTube then. Yes, kids are full time jobs. Yes, ma'am, they are. And I only have one in the house. She's nine. My other one is he'll be twenty five in July. So I only have one in the house and she is a doozy. Anybody that's been around me with her, heard me on the phone or heard me on the live. You know, she gonna peep over here. We be doing homework while I'm on the live mm -hmm. child. So sometimes it be a struggle with this little girl, but you know, she's she's a she's one of them new age kids, like iPhone, iPad, nails, well polish and mm -hmm. little teeny press on nails, and <laughs> she wants the hair and the clothes. Listen, these these new age kids. I don't know where they come from. Life used to be so simple when I had my son. Right. Twenty almost twenty five years ago, and uh, listen, I had to adjust. Okay, I really, I really had to adjust. Money is always a struggle, and I work from. <laughs> Man, <laughs> it still be. <sighs> yeah, she's a busy life kid. This is her birthday week. So, okay, her birthday is Thursday. She'll be nine on Thursday. So I've been saying nine for the past two or three weeks because she's nine. She's going to a um a buffet, a Chinese buffet Saturday for her birthday. She I had to make all these invitations <laughs> for her little classmates and family members and stuff. And then she wants to go to a hotel to do a paint and sip. <laughs> she's nine. This is what she wants. So I said, well, baby, we can go not this, not this weekend, but maybe next weekend, which I forgot was Easter weekend. Um, I'm like, maybe the next week after that. But I'm like, no, my birthday coming up. Shouty, you be short with your hotel. If anything, mama going to get a hotel and we're gonna paint and sit me and a friend or two or, or my sister, or whatever, you know. I listen, the girl is is a trip. Thank you, Miss Kira. Yeah, she's an Aries. Oh, Miss Derry, she's an Aries for real, for real, through mm -hmm. and through. Like she wasn't the, the March Aries, and they different from April Aries. Am I right, Aries? Mm -hmm. They is. They, that's <laughs> a she a different. She a different Aries. She she different. She she. This is a new age Aries. Like woo. on top of that, right? On top of it, yeah, yeah. And she be like, I'm an Aries. I'm an Aries. I'm like, girl, shut up. I don't even act like that. Maybe that TikTok. Right, they're already claiming it. She the TikTok. She a TikTok child. Yeah. Oh, so Aries, you, a you on the twenty second? Okay, you a different kind of Aries too. Yes, Derry, you and more Aries. <laughs> hey, Torian, what's up? But, um, yeah, you one of them different Aries. But we know my little niece is um on March twenty fifth, and she a uh, March Aries too. But she's actually turning nine too. So I I feel you on that, Candy. I had to think about that. That yes, that little girl is extra as well. Like they just oh, are. Aryan. Yeah, they different. It's some different kids. Oh, oh gosh. What? Well, yeah, happy birthday, Miss Dairy. If we don't, it's coming see up. You, we're right. Sure we will see you. Um, more like most likely an Aries chat tonight. Uh -huh. Um, so it's we, a we a birthday shout out again. Uh, did I say Torian? Thank you, Torian, for coming through. Hello, right. hello, Thank you, Torian. Yes, yes. I don't, I don't know the difference with all these signs, but I do know March Aries and Aries, and April Aries. They, they different. I do know that. I'm not good with all the signs and stuff like that, but. You know, if somebody is, is good with all that, maybe y'all can do a live or something one day. Oh, you know what? Let me, about I'm about it. to read some to y'all because look, this is I had this little card here. Y'all might not be able, okay. So I had a little Aries necklace, and let mm -hmm. me know if this is y'all as an Aries from March 21st to April 19th. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac that signifies leadership, you are strong willed and ambitious. Aries is a fire sign. That's why we be so feisty and passionate. That's me. Put I'm going to just put in that parenthesis. That little part was me. me too. Aries is a fire sign and you represent it well. You are creative, passionate, and have a fiery personality. So I think that that just fits. It might apply to some other um, signs too. I'm pretty sure. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes it just be feeling like they'd be hitting. But then yeah. when you think about other signs, they feel like it might hit for them too. But mm -hmm. I definitely 
uh, that just resonated with me. I'm like, yeah, that's all that I am. Yeah. Very creative and passionate and fiery. Yeah. Yeah, that's me too. Because mm-hmm. when I want you to understand something, I'm going to break it down and make you big like James. <laughs> right. I mean, I really had to figure out, like, why do I use analogies for everything? Yeah. Like, at some yeah. point, I just start realizing, like, I do that? Like, what is that about? Yeah. yeah. But I guess it's the thing. And I make a song about something, and I'm like, hold a minute. Right. Okay. Or somebody said a word, I got a song for that. And what they call me jukebox, because... <laughs> I'll, they'll say something I'll bust out with a song that got the word in it or that might sound similar to it or whatever. I don't know. Yes. Uh, yeah. So the 21st and the 22nd are on a cusp of Pisces. So a Pisces, mm-hmm. a, so a Pisces, are they like the 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 whiny people? Yeah, I believe are, I are feel they like they are. Because I mean, all of the Pisces that I know is one that I really get along with. But for the most part, I think because our signs are so close Mm -hmm. that it'd be a lot of friction. And it mostly be the Pisces men that that the friction comes from. Okay, 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 okay. I think Brillo's birthday is this week. Is he a Pisces? I think his birthday is the 20th. Pisces or Aries? He might be a Pisces. Pisces. Mm. I think so. Okay, he the bro, I think he said the twentieth oh, in that because I know my baby's the twenty first. I think his birthday. So yeah, that's why he be cut up there acting like that about them doggone uh <laughs> anything. <laughs> he got doggone uh Pisces. My mom is a Pisces, March fourteenth. Oldest sister Aries, April fourth. Okay, sis. Yeah. Happy oh yeah, yeah. We did tell your mom happy birthday last week, but happy birthday again, mom. Yes, your beautiful mother, and happy birthday to your sister as well. Early birthday. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. And I, I, I made myself a note. Shout out to all in the chat. Thank you a thousand times because I be forgetting, and I'm trying to do better with that. So let's see who was in the building. I do remember saying OT. Uh, Miss Kira, EJ, the TV junkie, Inga Binga, Moochie, the Hammer, Tamika's Den, uh, Ashley from My Sweet Perspective. Thank you all for coming through. Did I miss anybody? Uh, I'm trying to go back up and see. We had a lot of comments today. I know, huh? I didn't even um, Uh, even get a chance to share the link. Yeah. And I think that was it. If anybody I missed, I do apologize. Yes, Inga, I am climbing up the ladder, girl. I have 236 subscribers. Mm-hmm. Thank you. So please help mm-hmm. me out by getting me the 300 subscribers by my birthday. Hey, yeah, you can do that. Let's let's get me the 300 by my birthday. Okay, let's let's see if we can do that. I think we can. We got mm-hmm. less than a month. I think we can do that. I, I think we can do that. See y'all in the smoke session. All right, Miss Derry. Yes, see y'all and there. Like Miss Kira. But thank you all for coming through. I do appreciate it. I know we talked uh, a little bit about everything else after Capone and the Swans, you know. It happened hey, like that. It, it, you know, it, sometimes it just happens. You know, we did talk about the episode, you know. We talked about the show overall. However, you know, sometimes things just you know, veer off and we go other places. Veer off. That was entertaining nonetheless. Look at Inga. She ready for the sports session right now. Well, Inga, right baby, now. Inga, gonna stop you. go ahead and handle your business. But we want you to finish cooking your food. So go ahead and handle that. Turn it off and then go ahead and handle your business, okay? We That's what she meant when she said down. she got distracted, probably. <laughs> that That's smart. Probably <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> We don't need you to be displaced, baby. So go ahead and finish your food. <laughs> and oh, look, Tori, and your birthday is right before uh, Dairy's. Nice. So your birthday is 21st. Him my baby. Okay, you and my daughter have the same birthday. All right. Happy birthday. Thursday. Thursday. Yes, it's written real big on the calendar over there. It's so disturbing, my daughter. Oh, she wrote it's it. Big. It's real big. Real big. And then we have a lot of March in my family. So she got arrows pointed yeah. to her name. Everybody's birthday is, but it's pointing back to hers, though. Everybody's birthday is pointing back to hers. Uh-uh. That's, how, that's how it looks. That's exactly how it looks. That is so oh, funny. Oh, you're a May baby. Oh, okay. 
Oh, let me oh, tell you, okay. birthday is next week. Okay, okay, okay. I know. So I was like, Tara. I thought Torian was a Taurus. I now swear. I'm, I was I'm like, that. okay. Okay, well, happy birthday, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm like, he's Torian. But I ain't saying that. I just misread. Okay. Well, yeah, that's how Dallas' thing is. Dallas, and then she got all the arrows. It's like seven birthdays on the calendar. And everybody, arrow is pointing to her like, girl, she's dramatic. When yeah, I say I'm dramatic, the girl is dramatic. Yeah, yeah. You are right, Miss Kira. He is a Torian, he is a Taurus. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get out of here so Miss Aries can get her dinner. Whatever she yeah, goes, uh, gotta order. Rules, you know, right? <laughs> gotta go professionally and get something, uh, ground up, drudge something up. And then you're gonna get back with us at what time? At ten? Time? At ten Eastern Standard, seven Pacific Standard Time. I'll be back. All righty, all righty. So, if anything else, uh, all hearts and minds are clear. The church will be adjourned. Thank you, Miss Kira. Uh, and thank you, Miss Kira. Thank you again. All right, Aries and ladies and gentlemen, you all have a good night, and I will see you all later. Bye bye. Peace.